I've thought about getting in back into weed, which I've, I haven't got, ventured yeah. into weed in like I don't know thirteen years or something. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Give yourself schizophrenia. <laughs> Yeah, because you, I honestly, were you smoking weed out here at all? Not really. Not really. Sometimes I'd get yeah. really drunk and I would smoke and I would get like the perfect amount of crossed. But if I smoked, the last time I took, uh, I ate a like a weed chocolate bar. Remember when we were living in East Hollywood in that shithole? Yeah, of course I remember. That was mm-hmm. that place sucked ass. Yeah, the place fucking sucked. I hope I Dude, burned it was to like, the ground. It was like we were in a ship surrounded by trans hookers. <laughs> <laughs> we lived... <laughs> Dude, we lived in the trans hooker capital of L.A. And you just see it like it was like the shark mm. and Jaws, yeah. just like Michael Clark Duncan in a wig walking down the street. So you did. You lived in Tangerine. Yeah, pretty literally. Much. Yeah, literally. When I watch Tangerine, I'm like, that's I'm there in the window. You go, mm-hmm. That's oh, me. Oh, I'm getting my dick sucked yeah. by that trans hooker. That's me getting a trans hooker. <laughs> if you went to the gas station on Vermont right there late at night. You would have to like it was like a football player in practice when he's running through all those pads. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's just it was just like transgender penis, <laughs> and you just you got to lower and you just run through them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember they would say things like uh, uh, "suck dick," fifteen fifty dollars suck dick. Yeah, like yeah, as yeah, they're yeah. standing next to the guy who's clearly also on crack who owns the gas station because <laughs> they smoke him out, and uh, in ch- exchange of them smoking out the weird. Vaguely Korean, vaguely Mexican, vaguely Salvadorian guy behind the counter. That he lets them stay there and then solicit all the customers so they can suck off people. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. It's a it's a great ecosystem. I know no, it's, it's it's like a it's, symbiotic. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. a snail that lives on a shark's back and like cleans <laughs> yeah. the bugs off of it. <laughs> exactly. And you're like, oh, they're friends. <laughs> <laughs> they benefit from yeah. one another. Oh, you're like it's a clownfish and an, an anemone or whatever. It's the same yeah. way we like domesticated dogs. Yeah, you talk about domesticating <laughs> trans people. I'm talking about <laughs> turning them cr- into women. I'm talking about weird, vaguely Indian guys who own gas stations mm. and transgender hookers. Yes. Yeah. It's like yeah. when a coyote can go hunting with a badger. Yeah. And then when it's something goes down a hole, a coyote can't go the, down. The badger goes down, and sniffs it out. The coyote kills it and then shares the right, food. Right, there's, right, right. There's one Indian guy who got too close to the fire of trans hookers. <laughs> and then slowly... they 20,000 years ago? Yeah, 20,000 years ago. <laughs> and now we have them going, like, listen, the, the, the customer will buy a lot of honey buns. So. <laughs> I let them uh, get their uh, weird uh, cheeks clapped uh, in the back, my friend. Yeah, well, we were living over there and... Can I, can I say one other thing oh, about yeah, the trans yeah, sure. before I cut you off? Go ahead. It was also very funny because it was right next. We lived across the street from a cafe 50s. Yeah, I remember that. Which is if, you, oh, if yeah. you're not in L.A., there's like a string of them. They're like 50s themed like Rocka Billy diners. So you could go in there and, you know, like get a milkshake and be like, oh, I'm listening to Sugar Sugar by the Archies. And then you walk outside and it's like a freak of the 21st century. <laughs> yeah. So it felt like you were in. What's that Brendan Fraser movie? Blast from the past. It felt like you were doing that. Mm. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. You yeah. walked out of Bill, a Bill Haley in the comic show and there was a guy who looked like Ray Lewis being like, I'll suck your fucking dick. Yeah. It's like, I'll suck your dick till you kill yourself. <laughs> it's a Pleasantville. It's black yeah. and white inside the diner. You walk outside. <laughs> Color comes it, back. It was people that looked like uh, uh, it was like Wild Wild West, mm-hmm. you know, like weird mech, like spider suits. And yeah. Stuff. yeah, there's people a guy like with his, legs. a guy with his entire lower half missing <laughs> in a big. A guy carrying a head in a jar. Yeah, a, uh, <laughs> yeah <it's> like, <laughs> an old southern guy with a bell, like a horn coming out of his ear, so he can hear. Okay, very good. Great job, Gr- Gracie. This is two weeks in a, a row. Literally, you threatening our livelihood. So that's great. Can you reach it, Devin? Yeah, I got it. You stupid, fucked up, retarded dog. Sometimes it is the computer's fault, but then sometimes it's it's Gracie's. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, she works re- it out. You're recording on the backup, I'm assuming, of course. Yeah, I got it right here. Yeah, this is two weeks in a row where Gracie has literally got her fat ass and pulled the plug out of the goddamn wall. <laughs> Her ass is it's the eye spice ass. Dude, yeah, I don't yeah. even th- I don't even think she walks through it and knocks it out. I think her ass cheeks her fat retarded ass cheeks grab the wire and then pull it <laughs> fat retarded ass pull it out of the goddamn I think Gracie wall. is Ice Spice's mom <laughs> <laughs> yeah Grace, every morning you feed Gracie the munchkin drink or whatever they call it I think they call it the retard the drink the retard drink <laughs> at, at Dunkin, Dunkin Donuts, Donuts. Oh, yeah. yeah I forgot about the Dunkin Donuts Ice Spice drink yeah mm-hmm. it's it looks- just drool with sugar <laughs> they're like yeah <laughs> Yeah, there's like the little uh, rubber bands that go on top of braces. <laughs> <laughs> Those are yeah. in there. Full of corn nuts that a middle schooler ate. Yeah, yeah pieces of floss. Yeah. yeah. 
They're like, we inject this into Ice Spice's ass every day. <laughs> <laughs> it's got donut holes flowing around in it. Yeah, I remember when we lived in East Hollywood, the, I think the last time I got high I, that I can remember, because I definitely probably smoked when I was insanely fucked up many times. Time I can remember I ate a chocolate bar that had weed in it. Oh, I remember that chocolate bar, yeah. I remember uh, talking to our friend Kevin outside on the porch. Mm-hmm. And I remember, like, he was trying to talk to me about something, and I remember, like, kind of shaking, and I, I remember I said I had to go to bed. And I, uh, uh, can we just kill them? I know. Uh, We're please, make- they're barking at my pregnant wife. So. <laughs> no, no worries. They're just jumping on my pregnant Don't wife worry. and knocking her they're down. They're just nipping at her belly. <laughs> I kind of I joked with you the other day, and then sorry, we'll get back to it. Mm. I joked with you the other day that um, the dogs are like competing on which one needs to get put down when the baby's born. <laughs> they both want to die. Like they both want to die, and they like like th- th- that's why Gracie's going in and like ripping up everything that looks like a baby to shreds. Yeah, and then kind of staring at you like, please just f- put a rod just in my head. <laughs> put it's a rod through my brain. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I remember going to bed next to my wife who had to wake up at like six in the morning. And I was turned around, and I remember I, I couldn't stop shaking like this. <laughs> mm. From the weed? From the weed, for whatever reason. I was so anxious, I couldn't stop vibrating. Yeah. And I convinced myself at some point in the night that I had blacked out, and I got a knife from the kitchen. I had stabbed my wife uh, like 50 oh, yeah. times in the chest and killed her and like cut off her head yeah. and i was i was convinced i was laying in a pool of her own blood in the bed and i was covered in blood okay just stick to bird watching <laughs> <laughs> yeah i love you being like i think i can handle me <laughs> you are depressed though because today you told me you were thinking about knitting your own shirts <laughs> <laughs> not no. knitting i said sewing i'm sewing. thinking about getting into i can't find a damn shirt that I, fits I, the way i want i got it i gotta tell you sewing is actually worse it's somehow. way worse is that yeah. gayer no i think knitting's at least like i've heard of people doing yeah that they before. do it to like calm themselves yeah. you're gonna like have that thing where you're like what are you gonna pay yourself 25 cents an hour to <laughs> yeah you're gonna build your own sweatshop <laughs> Oh, man. Dude, you're going to be walking around looking like Dobby the house elf in the most fucked up <laughs> shirt of all time. But imagine a, a, you open your closet and everything in your closet is something you made. And it all looks awful. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're going to be doing the podcast and you're going to raise your hand and your shirt's going to fall off. <laughs> You're going to be at the bank wearing pants you sewed and your dick and yeah. balls yeah, comes out and you act- get arrested. I'm going to accidentally like kill myself. Yeah. I'm going to like I'm going to accidentally like create a noose and it gets caught on the door and I kill myself. <laughs> I'm going to create something that constricts me and kills yeah, me. Yeah, you're going to like somehow get sucked into the sewing machine <laughs> and like get sewed into a pair of slacks. It is weird. It's the first step in you becoming like a bohemian like piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Is buying a sewing machine <clears throat> and knitting your or sewing your own clothes and stuff, and I, then it segues from that to like veganism, and then your kids just start resenting you because you're like the guy, you're the dad that only has like you don't have like any fun sodas in the house, mm-hmm. or you know, yeah. you're an ingredient household. Yeah, you yeah. become, and then you know, yeah. You start, and you you start. We come over, and it because that's the problem is it doesn't stop at the sewing. It just keeps going. It just keeps going to the and point then, where you're making like shark soup for <laughs> dinner guests. And we come over, and you like are seriously like no. So what I've started, I'm not eating my own shit. What I do is I put the shit in a jar <laughs> in the sun, and then the liquid that melts out of the shit, I drink that. <laughs> and we're like, dude, that's eating your shit. You're like, no, 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 no. No, my friend. That's what we call we yeah. call it fart punching. The Tibetan monks used to do it. Yeah, it's close to piss therapy. Yeah. You're getting you're getting clo- dangerously close to being a piss therapy person. <laughs> you could a I, guy pissing in a wine glass and swirling it mm-hmm. <laughs> like it's an eighty dollar glass of like Merlot. Yeah, you mm-hmm. you cork it to store it for a while. I cork my piss so it gets real musky mm-hmm. and like develops a film on mm-hmm. top. There's a mushroom floating inside of it. Yeah, and you spin. You go. I'm getting hints of gushers, <laughs> herbal tea, yeah, yeah. Mm. my own shit from earlier. Inca cola, <laughs> the Peruvian cola. You know, most vitamins aren't absorbed the first time in the body. You got to drink your piss. Uh, I you like know, to put black pepper in it for the absorption. Yeah. You know, it's actually wise to drink your piss, even though literally cavemen weren't doing that. <laughs> you know, how you, you know, you shouldn't drink your own piss. 
Literally fucking dogs don't drink their own piss. I know. You yeah. retard. I don't even see animals peeing into their mouth ever. Or peeing into like a, a, an indention in the dirt and no. then drinking it. If, if right. a wolf like in a, in a pack started drinking its own piss, the older wolf would like snap its neck. Yeah. Because it knew it's like, this yeah. can't spread. Yeah. He's going to kill the whole uh, mm-hmm. tribe of wolves. Uh, by the way, a little quick health update. I don't want to make the whole episode about me. I have brain cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Another announcement. Uh, remember I told you guys my dick stopped hurting? Sure. It right. stopped, we, it we, stopped, had a, huh? we had a big party. <laughs> yeah, we had a huge party. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We went, all went down to the local steakhouse. <laughs> we ran up a $5,000 bill because my dick finally didn't we hurt. Went to a, we all put on suits and went to a claim jumper. Yeah. Like we were at a sales conference. <laughs> and we got you a trans hooker. <laughs> uh so my dick stopped stinging once I cut out Coke Zero and Zevia. Mm. Uh, the other night, I I had a Sprite. Okay, mm. full sugar Sprite. I only but I only drank half of it because it's so damn sweet. How'd you even find a full sugar Sprite? Where were you at? Yeah, they're called Starries now, right? Yeah. What do you guys talk? I thought Starry was a product of Pepsi that competes with Sprite. Or I, I am I out of the loop oh, or no. something? <laughs> Wait, am I out of the loop on the the soda news? I, I, I haven't <laughs> been to any dunk contests recently, but I'm pretty sure yeah. I, Sprite that's what, is Starry now. That's I what I thought is you can only buy Sprite at county fairs now. Yeah. Boys, you've been hoodwinked. That is the brilliant marketing behind Starry. Starry is actually Pepsi's uh, little sister. Oh. That is the competitor with Coca Cola. So it's Sierra Sprite. Mist. I, it's Sierra Mist, and I think it's because Sierra Mist tried to sue a hooker named Sierra Mist, and she won somehow. What? So they had to change their, or they they sued an OnlyFans person named Sierra Mist, ah. and the judge was like, "She's got nasty titties." Overruled. Okay. And then, Truly, everything is political now. Even if you're just a guy who's really into soda, that's politicized now. Mm-hmm. There's like turmoil there's like trouble in paradise oh there's i oh, mean yeah, if yeah. you're mentally retarded there's any type of you're like this is the woke soda i can only drink the racist <laughs> soda yeah <laughs> there's guys in mobile homes googling on their fucking android phone what's the most racist soda so they can drink it well that that soda that that half can of sprite mm-hmm. made my dick sting again mm. hmm. so I, I brought it back into my body and then like I did the actual test you're supposed to do to find out if you're allergic to stuff. I guess I'm allergic in whatever they put in soda. You think maybe Here. it was just the bubbles coming out? The bubbles got your dick all. I don't know. I it's, bubbled up? it caused weird inflammation in my body that made my dick sting. Mm. But it's all gone now as long as I don't drink soda. Well, if you stay away from all that stuff for a long time, then I guess you'd have a good sample size. That's what like, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Unless it's just a coincidence. Well, I mean, listen, I don't know how you're drinking this soda. You could, you could be leaving out a lot of details here. You know, uh, yeah. no one, I'm, no one's sure what you're doing here. You could be <laughs> ten hours a day. <laughs> to be honest, your you... pregnant wife's like fucking working in a coal mine somewhere. You're just wandering around the house like a psychopath. Yeah, Katie's in a Siberian <laughs> mine. You're fucking dunking your balls in Sprite all yeah. day. Like Sprite makes my dick good. Yeah. God damn it! Fucking holding sparrows on your fingers <laughs> as you type away on an old fucking Japanese typewriter. Yeah. You're the only person who went to nature and got worse somehow. <laughs> <laughs> 